This is brought to you by the strange, the bizarre, the unusual. I like it on both Facebook and YouTube. Romani people, Romani language, not to be confused with the Romanian, Roman, Raman, or Romanche languages. Romani, slash Romani, ro, dash slash. Also Romani, Romani, Romani Chim, is any of several languages of the Romani people belonging to the Indo-Aryan branch of the Indo-European language family. According to Ethnologue, seven varieties of Romani are divergent enough to be considered languages of their own. The largest of these are Vlad, Romani, about 500,000 speakers, Balkan, Romani, 600,000, and Sint, Romani, 300,000. Some Romani communities speak mixed languages based on the surrounding language with retained Romani-derived vocabulary. These are known by linguists as para-Romani varieties, rather than dialects of the Romani language itself. The differences between the various varieties can be as large as, for example, the differences between the Slavic languages. Name Speakers of the Romani language usually refer to the language as Romani Chib, the Romani language or Romanes in a Rom way. This derives from the Romani word Rom, meaning either a member of the Romani group or husband. This is also where the term Roma derives in English, although some Roma groups refer to themselves using other demonyms, e.g. Pale, Sinti, etc. The English spelling Romani language, with two initial RS, may also be found, reflecting a different transcription of the Romani phoneme R. Before the late 19th century, English language texts usually referred to the language as the Gypsy language. While some consider it derogatory, in the USA, Gypsy is still the most understood term, as Romani is not in common use there. Classification In the 18th century, it was shown by comparative studies that Romani belonged to the Indo-European language family. In 1763 Valley Istvan, a Calvinist pastor from Sedimer in Transylvania was the first to notice the similarity between Romani and Indo-Aryan by comparing the Romani dialect of here with the language, perhaps in Holy spoken by three Sri Lankan students he met in the Netherlands. This was followed by the linguist Johann Christian Christoph Rudiger, 1751-1822, whose book von der Sprache, UN die Herkunfter der Schirmer AUS Indian, 1782, proved Romani was descended from Sanskrit. This prompted the philosopher Christian Jacob Krauss to collect linguistic evidence by systematically interviewing the Roma in Konigsberg prison. Krauss's findings were never published, but they may have influenced or laid the groundwork for later linguists, especially August Todd and his pioneering Darstalone dive the Schumer in Europa, UND Asian, 1844-45. Research into the way the Romani dialect branched out was started in 1872 by the Slavicist Franz Nikosic in a series of essays. 
However, it was the philologist Ralph Turner's 1927 article The Position of Romani in Indo-Aryan that served as the basis for the integrating Romani into the history of Indian languages. Romani is an Indo-Aryan language that is part of the Balkan scratch fund. It is the only new Indo-Aryan spoken exclusively outside the Indian subcontinent. Romani is sometimes classified in the Central Zone or Northwestern Zone Indo-Aryan languages and sometimes treated as a group of its own. Romani shares several features with the Central Zone languages. The most significant isoglosses are the shift of Old Indo-Aryan R to U or I, Sanskrit SR dash, Romani Sun to here, and K to KH, Sanskrit Upi, Romani J Upi. However, unlike other Central Zone languages, Romani preserves many dental clusters, Romani Trin, 3, Proud Brother, Brother, compare Hindi Tin, 5. This implies that Romani split from the Central Zone languages before the Middle Indo-Aryan period. However, Romani shows some features of new Indo-Aryan, such as erosion of the original nominal case system towards the nominative, slash oblique dichotomy, with new grammaticalized case suffixes added on. This means that the Romani exodus from India could not have happened until late in the first millennium. Many words are similar to the Marwari and Lambadi languages spoken in large parts of India. However, Romani is nearer to the Marwari spoken in Rajasthan, India. Romani also shows some similarity to the Northwestern Zone languages. In particular, the grammaticalization of enclitic pronouns as person markers on verbs, heard or done plus mimi kurjan, I did, is also found in languages such as Kashmiri and Shina. This evidences a northwest migration during the split from the central zone languages consistent with later migration to Europe. Based on these data, Matros, 2006, views Romani as kind of Indian hybrid, a central Indic dialect that had undergone partial convergence with northern Indic languages. In terms of its grammatical structure, Romani is conservative in maintaining almost intact the Middle Indo-Aryan present tense person concord markers, and in maintaining consonantal endings for nominal case, both features that have been eroded in most other modern Indo-Aryan languages. Romani shows a number of phonetic changes that distinguish it from other Indo-Aryan languages, in particular, the devoicing of voice aspirates, bhdhghththkh, shift of medial td to l, of short a to e, initial kh to x, broadicization of red reflex, h etc. to r and r, and shift of inflectional a to o. After leaving the Indian subcontinent, Romani was heavily affected by contact with European languages. The most, the most significant of these was Medieval Greek, which contributed lexically, phonemically, and grammatically to early Romani, 10th to 13th centuries. This includes inflectional affixes for nouns and verbs that are still productive with board vocabulary, the shift to via word order, and the adoption of a proposed definite article. Early Romani also borrowed from Armenian and Persian. Romani and Damari share some similarities, agglutination of post positions of the second layer, or case marking clitics, the nominal stems, concord markers for the past tense, the neutralization of gender marking in the plural, and the use of the oblique case as an accusative. This has prompted much discussion about the relationships between these two languages. Damari was once thought to be the sister language of Romani, the two languages having split after the departure from the Indian subcontinent, but more recent research suggests that the differences between them are significant enough to treat them as two separate languages within the central zone, Hindustani, group of languages. The Dom and the Ron therefore likely descend from two different migration waves out of India, separated by several centuries. History the first attestation of Romani is from 1542 AD in Western Europe. The earlier history of the Romani language is completely undocumented and is understood primarily through comparative linguistic evidence. The linguistic evaluation carried out in the 19th century by Pott, 1845, and Miklosik, 1882 1888, showed the Romani language to be a new Indo Aryan language, NIA, not a middle Indo Aryan, missing in action, establishing that the ancestors of the Romani could not have left India significantly earlier than AD 1000. 
The principal argument favoring a migration during or after the transition period to NIA is the loss of the old system of nominal case and its reduction to just a two-way case system, nominative versus oblique. A secondary argument concerns the system of gender differentiation. Romani has only two genders, masculine and feminine. Middle Indo-Aryan languages, named missing in action, generally had three genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter, and some modern Indo-Aryan languages retain this old system even today. It is argued that the loss of the neuter gender did not occur until the transition to NIA. Most of the neuter nouns became masculine, while a few feminines, like the neuter, Agni, in the Prakrit became the feminine, A.G., in Hindi and Jag in Romani. The parallels in grammatical gender evolution between Romani and other NIA languages have been cited as evidence that the forerunner of Romani remained on the Indian subcontinent until a later period, perhaps even as late as the 10th century. There is no historical proof to clarify who the ancestors of the Romani were or what motivated them to emigrate from the Indian subcontinent, but there are various theories. The influence of Greek, and to a lesser extent of the Iranian languages, like Persian and Kurdish and Armenian, points to a prolonged stay in Anatolia after the departure from South Asia. The Mongol invasion of Europe beginning in the first half of the 13th century triggered another westward migration. The Romani arrived in Europe and afterwards spread to the other continents. The great distances between the scattered Romani groups led to the development of local community distinctions. The differing local influences have greatly affected the modern language, splitting it into several different, originally exclusive, exclusively regional, dialects. Today, Romani is spoken by small groups in 42 European countries. A project at Manchester University in England is transcribing Romani dialects, many of which are on the brink of extinction, for the first time. Dialects Today's dialects of Romani are differentiated by the vocabulary accumulated since their departure from Anatolia, as well as through divergent phonemic evolution and grammatical features. Many Roma no longer speak the language or speak various new contact languages from the local language with the addition of Romani vocabulary. Dialect differentiation began with the dispersal of the Romani from the Balkans around the 14th century and on, and with their settlement in areas across Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries. The two most significant areas of divergence are the southeast, with the epicenter of the northern Balkans, and West Central Europe, with epicenter Germany. The central dialect replaced as in grammatical paradigm with H. The West Northern dialects append J dash, simplify NDR to R, retain N in the nominalizer Iban slash Iban, and lose adjectival past tense in intransitive, yellow, jelly gel just he slash she went. Other isoglosses, ESP demonstrative, 2 slash 3 PL perfective concord markers, lone verb markers, motivate the division into Balkan, Black, Central, Northeast, and Northwest dialects. A long-standing common categorization was a division between the Black, from Black, and non-Black dialects. Blacks is those Roma people who lived many centuries in the territory of Romania in slavery. The main distinction between the two groups is the degree to which their vocabulary is borrowed from Romanian. Bernard Gilliatt Smith first made this distinction and coined the term blacks in 1915 in the book The Report on the Gypsy Tribes of Northeast, Northeast Bulgaria. The blacks dialect group, now seen as just one of about 10 groups, see below, has nevertheless become very widespread geographically. Matros, 2002, 2005, has argued for a theory of geographical classification of Romani dialects, which is based on the diffusion in space of innovations. According to this theory, early Romani, as spoken in the Byzantine Empire, was brought to Western and other parts of Europe through population migrations of Rom in the 14th to 15th centuries. These groups settled in the various European regions during the 16th and 17th centuries, acquiring fluency in a variety of contact languages. Changes emerged then, which spread in wave-like patterns, creating the dialect differences attested today. According to Matros, there were two major centers of innovations. Some changes emerged in Western Europe, Germany and vicinity, spreading eastwards, other emerged in the Wallachian area, spreading to the west and south. 
Also, many regional and local isoglosses formed, creating a complex wave of language boundaries. Matt Ross points to the processes of J and Aerojero Egg and OV Java as typical examples of West to East diffusion, and of the addition of prothetic A and B Java Abijab as a typical East to West spread. He concludes that dialect differences formed in situ, and not as a result of different waves of migration. According to this classification, the dialects are split as follows. Northern Romani dialects in Western and Northern Europe, Southern Italy, and the Iberian Peninsula. Central Romani dialects from Southern Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Carpathian Ruthenia, and Southeastern Austria. Romani dialect, chiefly associated with the historical Wallachian and Transylvanian regions, without migrants in various regions throughout Europe and beyond. SIL Ethnologue has the following classification. Balkan, Romani, Arlesia, Zambozzi, Finners, Romani, Northern Romani, Baltic Romani, Estonian, Romani, Latvian, Romani, Lettish Romani, North Russian Romani, Pol Polish Romani, White Russian Romani, Carpathian Romani, Central Romani, East Slovak Romani, Moravian Romani, West Slovak Romani, Finnish Kalo Romani, Finn Romani, Abertsisi, Serbian Romani, Slovenian Croatian Romani, Welsh Romani, Black Romani, Curari, Curarico, Peacemakers, Eastern Black Romani, Fizza, Gather, Grefuja, Greco, Helderash, Coppersmith, Helderashiko, Lovari, Lovarico, Majvano, Majvanzo, North Albanian Romani, Sedentary Bulgaria Romani, Sedentary Romania Romani, Serbo Bosnian Romani, South Albanian Romani, Ukraine Moldavia Romani, Sagunti. In a series of articles, beginning from 1982, Marcel Corthier proposed a different kind of classification. He concentrates on the dialectal diversity of Romani in three successive strata of expansion, using the criteria of phonological and grammatical changes. Finding the common linguistic features of the dialects, he presents the historical evolution from the first stratum, the dialects closest to the Anatolian Romani of the 13th century, to the second and third strata. He also names as Poga dialects, after the Pogadi dialect of Great Britain, those with only a Romani vocabulary grafted into a non-Romani language, normally referred to as Para-Romani. Megari, of Durana, Kabuti, of Korka, Banduri, Drindari, Arli, Arli, Uburji, Mahiri, of Pristina, Ursari, Riganari, Poitori, Zoraxane, Arpatici, Polskaroma, Gale, from Finland, Sinto Manish, and the so-called Baltic dialect. Turkari, of Pajorica, Zerbedi, Gambaji, Kichiri, Kalibiai, of Aegea Vergara, Alderash, Slovari, Machvano, Mixed Languages. Some Romanis have developed mixed languages, chiefly by retaining Romani lexical items and adopting second language grammatical structures, including in Northern Europe, Anglo Romani, in England, Scottish Cant, in Lowland Scotland. Kanda Romani, in Norway and Sweden. On the Iberian Peninsula and France. Aromingsula, in the Basque Country. Tolo, Tolo, in Portugal and Spain. Minouche, a variant of Sid Romani in France and its Mediterranean borders from Spain to Italy. In Southeast Europe. Romano Greek. Romano Serbian. In the Caucasus, Armenia. Lomavrin. Geographic distribution. Romani is the only Indo-Aryan language spoken almost exclusively in Europe, apart from immigrant populations. The most concentrated areas of Romani speakers are found in Romania. Although there are no reliable figures for the exact number of Romani speakers, it may be the largest minority language of the European Union. Status. 
The language is recognized as a minority language in many countries. At present, the only places in the world where Romani is employed as an official language are the Republic of Kosovo, only regionally, not nationally, and the Suda or Azari municipality within the administrative borders of the North Macedonian capital of Skopje. The first efforts to publish in Romani were undertaken in the interwar Soviet Union, using the Cyrillic script, and in communist Yugoslavia. Some traditional communities have expressed opposition to codifying Romani or having it used in public functions. However, the mainstream trend has been towards standardization. Different variants of the language are now in the process of being codified in those countries with high Romani populations, for example, Slovakia. There are also some attempts currently aimed at the creation of a unified standard language. A standardized form of Romani is used in Serbia, and in Serbia's autonomous, autonomous province of Vojvodina, Romani is one of the officially recognized languages of minorities having its radio stations in news broadcasts. In Romania, a country with a sizable Romani minority, 3.3% of the total population, there is a unified teaching system of the Romani language for all dialects spoken in the country. This is primarily a result of the work of Georg Esaraut, who made Romani textbooks for teaching Romani children in the Romani language. He teaches a purified, mildly prescriptive language, choosing the original Indo-Aryan words and grammatical elements from various dialects. The pronunciation is mostly like that of the dialect, from the first stratum. When there are more variants in the dialect, the variant that most closely resembles the oldest forms is chosen, like by Ap, instead of Abiyap, Avion, Akana instead of Akanak, Shunab instead of Ashnab or Ashnab, etc. An effort is also made to derive new words from the vocabulary already in use, i.e., Duryatno, Airplane, Borderin, Slide Rule, Palpaletic Ignasco, Retrospectively, Kushnavni, Adjective. There is an ever-changing set of borrowings from Romanian as well, including such terms as Rimia, Weather, Time, Primaria, Town Hall, Krishka, Cream, Finto, Saint, Foley. Hindi-based neologisms include Beachley, Bolt, Electricity, Misal, Example, Chitro, Drawing, Design, Lekapin, Writing, while there are also English-based neologisms, like Princess Arrow to Print. Romani is now used on the internet, in some local media, and some countries, as a medium of instruction. Orthography Historically, Romani was an exclusively unwritten language. For example, Slovakian Romani's orthography was codified only in 1971. The overwhelming majority of academic and non-academic literature produced currently in Romani is written using a Latin-based orthography. The proposal to form a unified Romani alphabet and one standard Romani language by either choosing one dialect as a standard, standard or by merging more dialects have not been successful, instead, the trend is towards a model where each dialect has its writing system. Among native speakers, the most common pattern for individual authors to use an orthography based on the writing system of the dominant contact language, thus Romanian in Romania, Hungarian in Hungary and so on. To demonstrate the differences, the phrase slash Romani tib slash, which means Romani language in all the dialects, can be written as Romani sib, Romani cid, Romani tkid, Romani tkiwi, Romani tkid, Romani tkid, Romanic chub, Romani chib, Romani chib, Romani chib, Romaji chib, and so on. The currently observable trend, however, appears to be the adoption of loosely English and Czech-oriented orthography, developed spontaneously by native speakers for use online and through email. Phonology The Romani sound system is not highly unusual among European languages. Its most marked features are a three-way contrast between unvoiced, voiced, and aspirated stops, PTKC, BDGDZ, and PHTHKHCH and the presence in some dialects of a second rhotic R, realized as uvular R, a long trill R, or red reflex R or R. Eastern and Southeastern European Romani dialects commonly have palatalized consonants, either distinctive or allophonic. Some dialects add the central vowel or I. Vowel length is often distinctive in Western European Romani dialects. 
Loans from contact languages often allow other non-native terms. Conservative dialects of Romani have final stress, except for some unstressed affixes, e.g. the vocative ending, the case ending, added on to the accusative noun, and the remoteness tense marker. Central and Western European dialects often have shifted stress earlier in the word. At the end of a word, voiced consonants become voiceless and aspirated ones lose aspiration. Morphology Nominals Nominals in Romani are nouns, adjectives, pronouns, and numerals. Some sources describe articles as nominals. The indefinite article is often borrowed from the local contact language. Language Types General Romani is an unusual language in having two classes of nominals, based on the historical origin of the word, that have a completely different morphology. The two classes can be called inherited and borrowed. But this article uses names from Matros, 2006, Ichiaclitic and Xenoclitic. The class to which a word belongs is obvious from its ending. Ichiaclitic. The first class is the old, Indian vocabulary, and to some extent Persian, Armenian and Greek loan words. The Achaeoclitic class can also be divided into two subclasses, based on the ending. Nominals ending in O slash I. The ending of words in this subclass is O with masculines, I with feminines, with the latter ending triggering palatalization of preceding D, D, N, L to D, P, N, L. Examples of Masculine. O. Chavo, the sun. O. Signo, the little. O. Amaro, power. M. Feminine. E. Rackley, non Romani girl. E. Signi, small. Note the change. N. N. E. Amari, ours. F. Nominals without ending. All words in this subclass have no endings, regardless of gender. Examples of Masculine. O brow, slash style, the brother. O sucker, the nice, M. O dat, the father. Feminine. E, ben, the sister. E sucker, the nice, F, same as M. E, dies, the mother. Benaclitic. The second class is loan words from European languages. Macross adds that the morphology of the new loan words might be borrowed from Greek. The ending of the borrowed masculine is OS, is, as, us, and the borrowed feminine ends in A. Examples from Slovakian Romani. Masculine. O. Sustros, shoemaker. O. Autobuses, bus. O. Yesitelis, teacher, N. Feminine. E. Rakla, slash Majka, skirt. E. Ablaka, slash Bakna, window. E. Yesitelka, teacher, F. From Yesitelka in Slovak. Basics of morphology. Romani has two grammatical genders, masculine, slash feminine, and two numbers, singular, slash plural. All nominals can be singular or plural. Cases. Nouns are marked for case, the most important being the nominative and, and the accusative case. The vocative, nominative, and indirect case are bit outside of the case system, as they are produced only by adding a suffix to the root. Example, the suffix for singular masculine vocative of ithiaclinic types is aja, chabaja, you, oil, or sun, chiknaja, you, little one, frala, brother. The other five cases are a little different. They are all derived from an indirect root that is made a little differently for each type. The indirect root is the same as the accusative case. For this root, every case adds its own suffix, with disregard to gender or type. E E slash da, locative, and prepositional. K slash G E, dative, tar slash dar, ablative, S A, R, instrumental and commutative, and cur slash G E R, genitive. Example. The suffix for indirect root for masculine plural for all inherited words is n. The dative suffix is k. O, kozaro, mushroom. Kozarin, the indirect root, also used as accusative. Mila, pyros kozarange. 
In the summer, we go on mushrooms, meaning picking mushrooms. There are many declension classes of nouns that decline differently and show dialectal variation. Slovakian Romani also uses these nine cases. Nominative, vocative, accusative, dative, locative, ablative, instrumental, genitive, indirect case. The indirect case is used when a word functions as an attribute before a word and is not considered a case in some literature. Agreement. Romani shows the typically Indo-Aryan pattern of the genitive agreeing with its head noun. Example. Chavies per ofrao, the boy's brother. Chavies per i sen, the boy's sister. Adjective and the definite article show agreement with the noun they modified. Example. Nero, dad, my father. Mirai, died, my mother. Verb. Romani derivations are highly synthetic and partly agglutinative. However, they are also sensitive to recent development. For example, in general, Romani and Slavic countries show the adoption of productive actions art morpholo morphology. The core of the verb is the lexical root, verb morphology is suffixed. The verb stem, including derivation markers, by itself has a non-perfective aspect and is present or subjunctive. Types. Similarly to nominals, verbs in Romani belong to several classes, but unlike nominals, these are not based on historical origins. However, the loan verbs can be recognized, again, by specific endings, which some argue are Greek in origin. Irregular verbs. Some words are irregular, like to eat gel, to be. Class 1. The next three classes are recognizable by a suffix in third-person singular. The first class, called I, has a suffix L in third-person singular. Examples, in 3 PSSG. T.A. Carol, to do. T.A. Sunil, to hear. T.A. Cycle, to see. Class 2. Words in the second category, called to, have a suffix L in third-person singular. Examples, in 3 PSSG. T.A. Dal, to go. T.A. Lazel, to be ashamed, shy away. T.A. Asal, to laugh. T.A. Patel, to believe. T.A. Pal, to eat. Class, 3. All the words in the third class are semantically causative passive. Examples of T.A. Siklal, to learn. T.A. Label, to burn. To martel, to be beaten. T.A. Pass law, to lie. Borrowed verbs. Borrowed verbs from other languages are marked with affixes taken from Greek tense slash aspect suffixes, including as dash, in dash, and as dash. Morphology. The Romani verb has three persons and two numbers, singular and plural. There is no verbal distinction between masculine and feminine. Romani tenses are, not exclusively, present tense, future tense, two past tenses, perfect and imperfect, present or past conditional and present imperative. Depending on the dialect, the suffix the mark, the present, future, or conditional. There are many perfective suffixes, which are determined by root phonology, valency, and semantics, e.g. per d did. There are two sets of personal conjugation suffixes, one for non-perfective verbs, verbs, and another for perfective verbs. The non-perfective personal suffixes continue from Middle Indo-Aryan. These are slightly different for consonant and vowel final roots, e.g. SAS, UE, can we ask you want. The perfective suffixes, deriving from late Middle Indo-Aryan, include pronouns. Verbs may also take a further remoteness of suffix as slash ahi, slash ys, slash f. With non-perfective verbs, this marks the imperfect, habitual, or conditional. With the perfective, this marks the pluperfect or counterfactual. Class 1. All the persons and numbers of the present tense of the word te carol. Various tenses of the same word, all in second person singular. Present, two cares. Future, two, cock years. Past 
Past imperfect equals present. Conditional. Two caraha. Past perfect. Two curdle. Current D plus al. Past conditional. Two curdlers. Current D plus al ended. Present imperative. Per. Class 2. All the persons and numbers of the present tense of the word th adal. Various tenses of the word th al, all in second person singular. Present. Two das. Future. Two daha. Past imperfect equals present. Conditional. Two daha. Past perfect. Two golem. An irregular, a regular form of two patas is two padnon. Past conditional. Two daha. Present imperative. Dala. Class 3. All the persons and numbers of the present tense of the word t pass well. Note the added uv dash, which is typical for this group. Various tenses of the same word, all in second person singular again. Present, two, pass load. Future, two, pass la. Past imperfect equals present, conditional, two pass la. Past perfect, two pass lilo. Passel and il plus al. Past conditional, two pass lalala. Passel and il plus al and it. Present imperative, pass la. Valency. Valency markers are affixed to the verb root, either to increase or decrease valency. There is dialectal variation as to which markers are most used. Common valency increasing markers are AV dash, AR dash, and per and common valency decreasing markers are job and AV dash. These may, may also be used to derive verbs from nouns and adjectives. Syntax. The Romani syntax is quite different from most Indo-Aryan languages and shows more similarity to the Balkan languages. Sinkova and Zuniova, while describing Slovakian Romani, argues that Romani is a three-word order language, and that it allows for theme green structure, similarly to Czech, and that in some Romani dialects in East Slovakia, there is a tendency to put a verb at the end of a sentence. However, Matros describes it further. According to Matros, in most dialects of Romani, Romani is a VO language, with SVO order in contrastive sentences and verb subject object order in thetic sentences. The tendency to put verb on the end in some dialects is the Slavic influence. Examples from Slovakian Romani Odi kosi salali. This cup is cold. Oda salali kosi. This is a cold cup. Clauses are usually finite. Relative clauses, introduced by the relativizer type, are postponed. Factual and non-factual complex clauses are distinguished. Romani in modern times. Romani has lent several words to English such as pal, ultimately from Sanskrit greater, brother. And narc informant, from Romani, and AK knows. Other Romani words in general slang are gaji, originally meaning person who's not Roma, currently used as a gender-neutral term for boyfriend slash girlfriend in Bulgaria, shiv, or chiv, knife. Urban British slang shows an increasing level of Romani influence, with some words becoming accepted into the lexicon of standard English, for example, chad from an assumed Anglo-Romani word, meaning small boy, in the majority of dialects. There are efforts to teach and familiarize Blacks Romani to a new generation of Romani so that Romani spoken in different parts of the world are connected through a single dialect of Romani. Indian Inst Institute of Romani Studies, Chandigarh published several Romani language lessons through its journal Roma during the 1970s. Occasionally loan words from other Indo-Iranian languages such as Hindi are mistakenly labeled as Romani due to surface similarities, due to a shared root such as Kushi, which is from Hindi, itself alone from Persian Kuz, meaning excellent, healthy, happy. Pararamani Pararamani is various mixed languages of non-Indo-Aryan linguistic classification, containing considerable admixture from the Romani language. They are spoken as the traditional vernacular of Romani communities, either in place of or alongside varieties of the Romani language. Some Pararamani languages have no structural features of Romani at all, taking only the vocabulary from Romani. 
Reflecting the Romani who is a dispersed people reside predominantly throughout Europe over the last thousand years, though with origins in the northern Indian subcontinent, in regions which are today part of India and Pakistan, the linguistic makeup of most Para-Romani languages are based on Indo-European languages, except for Laos Romani, which is based on Estonian, and Aromingsala, which is based on Basque of the Basque region of Spain and France, separate from the Kalo Iberian Romani. Language of Spanish and Portuguese Romani, based on the Romance languages of Iberia. The phenomenon of Para-Romani languages is entirely different from Jewish languages, other than Hebrew, which are spoken by different communities of the Jewish diaspora and are heavily influenced by Hebrew, such as Yiddish, Judeo-German, among Ashkenazi Jews, Ladino, Judeo-Spanish, among Sephardic Jews, or Yavanic, Judeo-Greek, Italian, Judeo-Italian, various Judeo-Arabic languages, etc. Varieties based on Indo-European languages Armenian-based Lomogran language Germanic-based Anglo-Romani Badishkam Andro-Romani Sintimanosh moving from a Romani variant to being Para-Romani Greek-based Romano-Greek Romance-based Hollow Slavonic-based Bohemian Romani, which was moving towards being a Para Romani variety prior to extinction. Romano Serbian, Persian based, Afghanistan Gorbat, Persian Romani, Magadi, based on non Indo European languages, Finnic based, Lyuz Romani, Estonian based, Turkic based, Crimean Romani, Crimean Tatar based. Perbecha, Turkish based, Basque based, Aromingsala, Balkan Romani. Balkan Romani, also known as Balkan Gypsy, is a specific dialect spoken by groups within the Balkans, which include countries such as Albania, Bosnia Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Greece, Kosovo, Macedonia, Serbia, Turkey, Romania, etc. The Balkan Romani language is typically an oral language. This dialect is endangered because, not only is it looked down upon by other Europeans, but it only has about 763,670 speakers left in the world. Classification Indo-European, Indo-Iranian, Indo-Aryan, Intermediate Division, Western, Romani, Balkan History most of the people who speak Balkan, Romani are Romani themselves. Another meaning of the prefix Ron is someone belonging to the Romani ethnicity. The Romani people are ultimate of Indian origin. Speakers of the Balkan, Romani language have constantly migrated throughout the years into all parts of Europe. Since these speakers have migrated to different parts of Europe, new dialects have formed. Although the Romani people originated in India, they are now widespread throughout all of Europe. Dialect Balkan dialect, also known as Balkanized, are spoken in Albania, Bulgaria, Greece, Iran, Kosovo, Macedonia, Moldova, Romania, Serbia, Turkey, and Ukraine. This group includes Inter Alia Arli Romani, Greece, Kosovo, Macedonia, Stepicides Romani, Greece, Turkey, Ursari Romani, Moldavia, Romania, and Crimean Romani, Ukraine. This dialect, also called Balkan II, are a distinct subdivision within the Balkan group. Yugurdvi, Drindari, and Kalajzi Romani are spoken in Macedonia, Kosovo, and northern and central Bulgaria. Phonology The sound inventory of Romani does not differ significantly from that of other European languages, most of which belong to the Indo-European family. The consonant system of Balkan Romani differs in one significant aspect from those of other European languages. It has the aspirated plosives, aspirated, stops, characteristic of Indian languages. In the case of Romani, these are the voiceless aspirated plosives, slash ph, ph, ph slash, which in the majority of Romani variants, at least at the beginning of a word, have a semantically distinct function. Vocabulary and Lexus Turkish lexical influence is a defining and extremely important part of the Romani dialect in the Balkans. 
Most of the words, however, originate from Persian origin. Loans from Persian, Armenian, and Byzantine Greek make up the pre-European lexicon. Ultimately, it is hard to trace the definite origin of all the words because the words of Balkan, Romani originate from many sources and the sources of those languages create a complex puzzle. Grammar Turkish grammar plays a large role in Balkan Romani. The use of Turkish conjugations is widely embedded within Balkan Romani and oftentimes, it is difficult to tell the difference between the grammar of the two languages depending on geography. Balkan Romani has compartmentalized grammar, originating from Turkish verbal paradigms along with some Greek influence. Much of the morphology of the language have Greek and Turkish origins, which is why the language is viewed by many professionals as a mixed language and thus it is hard to see where one language ends and the other begins. All Romani dialects use Greek, der Greek derived nominal endings, masculine nouns, and lone nouns. Morphology The morphology of the Balkan, Romani language is again heavily influenced by both the Turkish and Greek languages. Many people view this language as a sort of melting pot because there are so many different influences on it. Turkish and Greek might be the most influential languages on Balkan Romani, but other languages, such as Armenian, have also influenced it. Part of the substrate of Balkan Romani appears to be derived from medieval northern Indian languages. Balkan Romani has traditionally been an oral language, but recently, there is a growing amount of effort to decode and standardize the language. Balkan Romani wrote with Cyrillic script. Carpathian Romani Carpathian Romani, also known as Central Romani or Romunga Romani, is a group of dialects of the Romani language spoken from southern Poland to Hungary and from eastern Austria to Ukraine. North Central Romani is one of a dozen major dialect groups within Romani, an Indo-Aryan language of Europe. The North Central dialects of Romani are traditionally spoken by some sub-ethnic groups of the Romani people in Hungary, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, except for its southwestern and south-central regions, southeastern Poland, the Transcarpathia province of Ukraine, and parts of Romanian Transylvania. There are also established out-migrant communities of North Central Romani speakers in the United States, and recent out-migrant communities in the United Kingdom, Ireland, Belgium, and some other Western European countries. Bibliography Beretsky, Norbert 1999 Die Gliederung der Zentralen Dialekt und die Bezihungen zwischen Sudlichen Zentralen Dialekten, Romungro, und die Sudbalkanischen Romani Dialekten in, Halbuck, Peter W., and Florian Men, EDS, Die Sprache der Roma, Roma. Perspective in der Romani Forschung in Earth der Reich, im Interdisziplinären, und die Internationalen Kontext. Klagenfurt, Braga. 210-276. Elphick, Victor, Milena Hauptschneeva, and Hannah Sivkova. 1999. The Southern Central, of the Imperfect, Romani Dialects, of Slovakia and Northern Hungary. In, Halbuck, Peter W., and Florian Men, EDS, Die Sprache der Roma. Perspective in der Romani Forschung in Earth der Reich, in Interdisciplinary, UND International in Context. Klagenfurt, Strava. 277-390. Elphick, Victor. 2003. Interdialect Contact of Czech and Slovak Romani Varieties. International Journal of the Sociology of Language, 162, 41-62. Elphick, Victor, and Jerome Matros. 2006. Marxness and Language Change, the Romani Sample. Berlin, Mouton, the Gruder. Int, Romani. Sint Romani, also known as Sintengarot Skid, N, Sintetikes, Manus or Romanes, slash RMNS slash, is the variety of Romani spoken by the Sinti people in Germany, France, Austria, Belgium, the Netherlands, some parts of northern Italy, and other adjacent regions. Sint Romani is characterized by significant German influence and is not mutually intelligible with other forms of Romani. The language is written in the Latin script. 
Overview. The name Romani derives from Rom, the historical self-designation of speakers of the Romani language group. Romani is sometimes written as Romani, often in English, but native-speaking people use the word Romani for the language. Historically, Romani people have been known for being nomadic, but today, only a small percent of Romani people are unsettled due to forced assimilation and government interventions. Romani is a dialect of Romani and belongs to the Northwestern Romani dialect group, which also includes a dialect spoken by Romani in Finland. Enti is the self-designation of a large Romani population that began leaving the Balkans early on in the dispersion of the Romani language group from the end of the 14th century on, and migrated to German-speaking territory. Enti in France typically also speak Sint Romani, but refer to themselves as Manus or Manouche. Today Sint is mainly spoken in Germany, France, Northern Italy, Switzerland, Serbia, and Croatia, with smaller numbers of speakers in Austria, the Czech Republic, and the Netherlands. Sinti form the largest subgroup of Romani people in Germany, and Germany, in turn, is home to the largest number of Sint Romani speakers. Nearly all Sint Romani speakers speak multiple languages, the dominant language of the country they live in is the most common. Phonology Sint Romani is a non-tonal language with 25 consonants, 6 vowels, and 4 diphthongs. This is brought to you by the strange, the bizarre, the unusual. I like it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. We love feedback. Thank <laughs> you.